for this computer. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Friday night easy yoga class. I, once I'd said some yoga pose was easy and there was a yoga teacher in my class. She said, never tell anyone that a yoga pose is easy. I said, okay, so I always do that anyways. Um, so uh, one a student of mine asked me if I had ever done a cleanse and they were gonna do um, some kind of uh, cleanse someone was talking to them about. And I said that I don't do a cleanse because I literally am cleansing all the time. So I'm gonna tell you what my routine is uh, for my cleanse and you can whatever, take it with a grain of salt, whatever you like, but just what my, and it starts with my morning and it'll be quick and then we'll get right to the yoga. So first thing I do is when I get up in the morning, the first thing is I make tea, but uh, I make tea with local honey. Local honey is uh, good if you're having allergies because the bees are interacting with the local things that you're having uh, allergy with. Um, then uh, lemon, which I squeeze just a half a lemon, and then my green tea. My teacher in India said that I should do warm water and honey lemon every day as part of a cleanse. I just have the green tea because I always do green tea anyways. The second thing that I do, and I'll do this, it depends, I'll sometimes just do one caplet um, after lunch. Uh, it depends on if I feel like my digestion is moving quickly, I don't worry about it, but if it's not moving quickly, I like to do this regularly, uh, Tripala, and um, another uh, Indian teacher told me about this, my meditation teacher. It's an extremely mild laxative, and it's a blood cleanser, and there's a bunch of stuff if you uh, look it up on Wiki, but you know, who know, Wiki's just people saying shit. But anyways, I'm doing those things all the time, and I'm also intermittent fasting all the time, so I'm always trying to clean out the garbage that we're getting from living in the modern world. And uh, that's that. Thank you so much for coming. If you want uh, Easy Friday to not be easy, remember that you can always do a vinyasa, which is plank, a push up, up dog, and down dog between a lot of the seated poses. I'll call that out from you. And anytime that we're doing a reverse plank, you're welcome to do the forward plank, up dog and down dog. And that will give you like a, more of a workout than just, this is more of a breathing, stretching and meditation class. So uh, let me back up a little bit. Good, so go ahead and um, move my mat for now. Cross the legs if possible. Then we're gonna put the right hand down. We actually did this one on Wednesday, we normally don't. And then the left hand up and over, just reaching long angle, like extended side angle. Keep the uh, arm here straight with the hand on the ground and this arm straight if possible, all the way to the fingers. Look up to the ceiling and let's draw the breath into the nose. And then push the breath out of the nose. And we're just going to continue breathing in and out through the nose. So much of yoga and Ayurvedic and all that stuff is cleansing because also another great thing to do is uh, the neti pot, which is cleaning out the kind of the airborne toxins that are getting in your nose, the pollens and stuff. And then let's uh, switch uh, hands. I literally took allergy medication every day before I got some of that information, the local honey and the uh, nasal flushing, I, I was able to quit taking that medication. We're gonna look up and we're gonna breathe. Drawing it in, pushing it out. Good, back to center, hands on the knees, like a straight uh, spine to the crown of your head. Let's draw a big circle on the ceiling. Just one direction at first. Let's 
Still using that breath, drawing it in through the nose, pushing it out through the nose. Once you add that to your practice, you will really see how it kind of takes you uh, physically, emotionally, and mentally to the next level, because that breathing is, is so awesome. And then let's go the opposite direction, just switching it up. back to center. We're going to point the right hand forward. Keep that shoulder down so that like you have like a shelf here. And grab the fingers and pull back. We're just going to breathe here again as usual. Excellent, let's do the other side. We'll pull back and keep that shoulder down. This is a tendency to bring it up. We're locking the core, just moving in the breath. We will do a couple standing poses today. Good, we're gonna do um, Cobra and Child's Pose. I'll go sideways so you can see, but we're gonna lay down on the belly with the uh, toes pointing straight back. Let me go back further. We're gonna put the hands right on the uh, ground, just outside of the shoulders. We're not gonna push the hands onto the mat. They're just there, kind of just mark our place but we're gonna lift with our core and torso. So tighten the legs, take a breath in, lift up, and then we push the hands on the mat, coming on the knees, rolling back. The knees need to be far enough apart so that your body can fit down and in the child's pose. And we'll lengthen out through the fingers with the forehead on the mat, and we'll take a few long breaths here, smelling the carpet. Good, let's come all the way forward. We're gonna lay back down on the belly. Hands again, toes pointing back. Tighten the legs, lift up, look up. And on the out breath, put the knees down, push into the mat, become a child's pose again. Lengthen out through the fingers. We'll take about four breaths here. Good, so most of you, you're welcome to do the same thing, cobra and child's pose, but those of you that want to do a vinyasa between some of the poses, I'm going to do one of those here instead so that we all know what is uh, going on. So tight core, bring the hips down so you got a straight line. It's good that I can see that in the camera because I was poking up a little bit. We'll take a breath in, on the out breath, lower down, up dog or cobra and then child's pose or down dog. We're just take a few breaths here, whether you're in child's pose or down dog. And then we are all going to stand and I'm going way back uh, to the back so that you can see we're gonna do, uh, so let's have the right foot in the front, left foot in the back, back foot turned out. We're gonna do uh, warrior number two. We're going to reach the arms out and just hang out here, a warrior two. We're going to breathe. So you can think about, let's, let's work on this pose a little bit since we're doing it kind of as an individual pose. You can put the right hand on the right knee because you want to keep the knee directly over the ankle, forward and sideways. But we're going to hold this because we're going to take the left hand and grab the hip and pull back, trying to open up flat through the hip area. 
because that's where we're going with this pose. Good, once there, let's come all the way back up with the arms. We're gonna take a couple breaths here. Good, straight the leg and let's pivot. Right toes in, left toes out. Let me come a little closer and here we are, warrior two on the other side. Think about, well, the back leg is straight and rotating the outside edge of your back foot into the mat if you're on a mat. If you're on carpeting, it's a little bit harder. So let's take now the left hand on that uh, left knee so it doesn't move. Because if you, if you pulled the right hip, you'd see how much it's connected to that knee. So we're gonna pull back, opening up. And we're gonna come back up to warrior two for a couple breaths here. The looking is at the fingers in the front of us and the breathing is in the nose. Good, straight that leg again. Let's pivot, left toes in, right toes out. So we're gonna take now the right hand to turn it so the palm faces the ceiling. Left hand very gently on the back leg. We're gonna arch back. Don't move this knee, still over the ankle. We'll look up along the armpit to the sky. Good, straight the leg again. We're gonna pivot, right toes in, left toes out. Warrior two now to the other side. Keep the knee over the ankle. Left hand, palm faces the ceiling, right hand gently on the leg. And we arch back again. Breathing here. Really taking our time on Friday night. Good, back up, back to center. Turn the toes so that they are running straight forward. I'm doing this forward fold because the forward folds are always difficult for me. Let's reach the arms all the way up. And then we're gonna fold all the way down, letting the hands and the fingers come right down the line that your toes are on. Then you could begin to bring the palms down and the curl of the head down. If it's very hard, you can bring the feet a little further apart if it's very easy. You could um, bring them close together and let's stay in the forward fold. Good, back up. Let's bring the feet back together. One more before we get on the ground for mostly for good. Uh, big toes touching, ankles apart. We're gonna see that chair is more of a straight up pose as you bend the legs and reach the arms straight up to the sky. The further you come down, it starts to come forward. We wanna fight that and come down with the straight up like we're, and the hands are in prayer above the head so you're praying to the sun, which is why it's straight up. And we'll take a few breaths here. Great, let's stand and let's sit down. Those of you that want a vinyasa are welcome to vinyasa while the rest of us are getting into our seated position. We're gonna put the left leg out with the right leg bent, like so. We're gonna do dynamic janasurasana. So uh, left on left. I do have a strap out today. If you wanted to strap your foot, it's kind of easy to hold there. We'll use a strap quite a bit later in the class. Left hand, left on left. Right up on the in-breath, breathing out, closing it down. Back up, breathing in, closing it down again. And we're moving over and over with the out-breath on the downward fold. Take your time and let's do this for a while.
Good. Next time you're up, go ahead and stay up with that long reaching. Very nice. Let's switch. So uh, right leg out. So you grab the shin, you can hold the strap, but you are keeping the leg straight or grabbing the toes right on right. And we'll reach up, breathing in and breathing out. We fold it all back down. Up again, breath in and closing it all back down. Over and over. Out breath, always on that downward fold. Good, next time you're up, go ahead and stay up and we'll look to the reaching hand. Good, so we're all gonna reverse plank. Those of you that want a vinyasa are welcome to. In reverse plank, the fingers are pointing towards the feet and uh, the hands are far enough they're under the shoulders and we're gonna lift up and look up. You can point the toes. And back down. We're going to do the same, Janasirsasana. We're going to do the open version. So again, left on left with the left leg out in front. And then like uh, extended side angle, we're going to reach that right arm up and over. Make sure you can see the ceiling. So we want the chest and uh, torso facing straight out and away. And we're going to take several breaths here, at least five. Let's breathe. Good, let's come up and let's do the other side. Right leg out and right on right, right hand grabs the uh, right toes. And then that left arm comes up and over so the palm is facing down. I mean, if you can come down with your chest facing straight out and away and grab the toes with the legs straight, great. This is as far as I'm gonna go and as far as my side is allowing me to go. I mean, if you brought the shoulder down, you can get the toes, but that's the whole thing. We want to keep that shoulder open. Let's breathe here. Good, back up. Those of you that want a vinyasa, please vinyasa. The rest of us are gonna reverse plank with the hands behind us, fingers pointing forward, lifting up the hips. You could do a push up, up dog and down dog instead. And let's come back down. Let's do both versions of cobbler or will be, there's actually technically three that I know. Um, there's probably bunches more. We're gonna do the first one I ever learned, which is taking the thumbs and putting the thumbs into the arches of your feet and turning those arches uh, like you're opening them up like a book. And we're gonna sit up tall just for a moment. And then we're gonna put the elbows into the legs and fold forward, but keep those arches, keep trying to pull them open. And keep trying to open the book of the feet. The book of the feet. I'm not writing that book. Good, back up. So we'll do the other version. We're gonna take the left hand and grab the small toes, right hand on top. Because to me, this access more of the shoulders and the sides of the neck. So we sit up real tall. So you have the grip of the hand. So we're feeling it in the shoulders. And you can butterfly if you like on the hips. So we're gonna breathe here.
This is the A version. And then the B version is folding down again, but keeping a hold of the uh, feet so you got that bit of leverage, pushing the elbows against the legs and folding either the face towards the feet or the heart out towards the feet. And we're gonna stay here. Good. Back up. Those of you that want to do a push-up, up dog, and down dog, go ahead. The rest of us are doing reverse plank. And we lift up. We look at the uh, ceiling. And we come back down again. So we're going to do uh, this hip opener, which I'm desperately in need of today. We're going to take the right heel and put it underneath the left hip with your right knee pointing straight on forward. Left leg comes over, so we have the foot on the outside. For some of us, this will be all we'll be able to do tonight. Sit up tall, hold the leg, no problem. The rest of you can take the right hand and grab the left shoelaces and pull that leg back. You can even push into the ground and lift up. You can push the knees down. We can reach the right arm up, bring it down the back, grabbing the elbow or coming around the back, grabbing the hands together back there. Push the head against the arm so you're staring straight forward and we'll breathe here. Good, unwrap all of that. We are now gonna take the opposite leg, the left, and bring that left heel under the right hip with the knee pointing straight forward. Right leg, uh, maybe just jumping to the outside, maybe grabbing the laces, maybe pushing into the mat and lifting up, which I have to do on that side, it's tighter for me. You push the knee down, left arm up, right arm down the back. Breathing here, looking straight forward, holding the core a little bit. Good, so we're gonna reverse plank. If you wanna do your push up, up dog and down dog, please do that, putting the hands down. Otherwise, we're lifting up with the plank. And back down again. Cross the legs as simply as you can. Put the hands on the shoulders with the elbows pointing out away. If you know where we're going and you got a method, go ahead, get on to it. In breath one side, out breath the other. As soon as you determine which side is the tight side, we're gonna put the out breath on that side. You can bring the arms out like uh, paddles in the goddess pose, or all the way out. I got a big shadow behind me tonight. Good, let's take the right hand all the way over to the left knee. Left hand can either go right behind you, sitting up tall, looking back, or all the way around, grab your shirt, your pocket, or your leg. So you can get a, you wanna get a good grip so that we can induce that twist a little more. And the twist is up to the neck. The head just goes for the right, so the twisting is in your torso. So we'll breathe here.
Very good. Let's come on all the way over to the other side. Left grabs right, right hand either uh, directly behind you or coming around, grabbing the shirt, the pocket, or the leg again. Once you got that grip happening, twist back in the shoulders and in the torso, the head goes back lightly. Breathing. Very nice. Back around. Those of you that want to do full vinyasa, go ahead. But rest of us are going to do easy uh, Friday, just reverse plank, lifting up. Good. When you come down, you cross the legs and roll forward for cat-cow. You see the knees are two fists apart. The hips are over the shoulders. The shoulders are over the wrists with the middle fingers pointing straight forward. We're going to let the belly drop down as we uh, look up. Breathing in, as we breathe out, we arch the back. And let's continue with this movement with the breath. Belly down as breath in, arching back as breath out. Let's go 30 more seconds tonight. Good, come up onto the knees, but be on the toes here. We're gonna put the thumbs in the back, pulling the elbows together, and just look at the ceiling this camel pose. For those of you that like, you're welcome to put the uh, fingertips on your heels, which is why that we're on the toes, so it's not that far away. Tighten the legs, look up. If it's real easy for you, put the feet flat and then grab your heels. And we'll stay here. We'll keep the thumbs in the back is also great. Good, back down, let's do some more cat and cow. I always like to do cat cow after the camel because the camel does, it tightens up my lower back a little bit. Good, back to center, we're gonna look over the right shoulder and see the tail. And then over to the left side. Good. Back to center. We're going to step the right foot top of the mat. If your left knee is on a hard surface, please double up the mat so it's uh, a little easier to deal with. And then we're going to reach the arms straight up. Good. And let's stay here. Let the hips hang down, let the left uh, quad <laughs> lengthen. Let's twist, opposite arm, left arm goes outside of the right leg. Hands in prayer pull in so we can get that right shoulder back too. Fingers turn up towards the face. You could stay here looking at the foot on the floor or up to where your uh, elbow is pointing. You can also roll back on the ball of your left foot coming up, making this a standing pose. And let's breathe here, no matter what you choose to do, let's choose to breathe.
Good. Hands down. Let's step that leg back and let's step the left foot forward. And then you can get some distance with that foot so we feel the length of the right quad. And then up again with the arms and let's breathe here. Good, let's twist so the arm on the opposite side, it's the right now, comes over to the left. Get that elbow outside of the knee, don't push the knee around. The knee stays strong, turn the fingers up to your face, look at the foot or look at the ceiling where your elbow is pointing. Also, if you wanna roll back on the ball of your uh, right foot, making this a standing pose, you're welcome to. Let's breathe here. Great. Hands down. Those of you that want a vinyasa, you could get one in right now. Push up, up dog, and down dog. The rest of us are just going to switch the legs. So, right foot back out again. Now, hands are straight up, and we're going to breathe here. And then hands right down on the inside. So the right hand is right inside of the right foot, left hand underneath the shoulder. You could stay here. You could walk those hands forward, trying to put your elbows on the ground. The elbow on the right would be, again, right next to the foot, just like the hand was when we started. Keep the leg locking against the shoulder and the breath in the nose. I like looking at the floor for me. Some people do look forward. For me, I like the length of the spine to the crown of the head. Keep breathing. It's this balance of holding the pose and then also letting go into it. It's, it's, a, it's like extreme opposites. So we need to hold it in place and then we need to release ourselves within that holding. Good, let's uh, set up the other side. So left foot forward. We raise the arms straight up again. We'll hold here for a little bit breathing. Good, and hands down again, right on the inside, just like before, and walking them forward if you wanna put the uh, elbows down, but keep the leg pulling right against your shoulder, and let's breathe here.
Good. Those of you that want a vinyasa, vinyasa, the rest of us are going to step back to hands and knees again. And we're going to sneak this extra pose in. I'm going to show it to you the easiest way we can possibly do it. If you want to amp it up, that's fine. We're going to do a sidearm balance, but we're going to keep the knee down. So right hand, fingers are pointing forward. It points back to the right knee, and we're going to step the left arch onto that same line and then reach up. So with the knee down, the arm doesn't take as much pressure. Now, if you want to take this right foot and, and sneak it back, and I'll demo that in a second, you're welcome to. But it is Easy Friday, and this is a real nice pose. You could come back, you could open the legs. That is a lot of work. And let's breathe here, whatever you chose to do. And we'll look at the reaching hand. Good, let's come back to hands and knees, and we're going to do the left side, which I will do kind of facing forward. So same thing, left hand goes back to the knee, we step the right arch back, we keep the left knee down and reach up. Those of you that want to roll that back foot back and get the extra work, you're welcome to. Let's breathe here, if possible. If it doesn't make you want to fall over, look to the reaching hand. Good. Those of you that want a vinyasa, vinyasa, the rest of us are going to sit down. Good. So, one sitting. We're going to do our core work, but tonight, uh, in between the core work, we're going to do a twist. So, we're going to start with the twist. So, with the heels or the feet flat on the ground, I think the heels is easier for me. We're going to take the left elbow outside of the right leg with the hand down, pulling the shoulder back, getting that twist. We'll hold it for a moment, and then we'll come all the way over to the other side and do the opposite. We'll hold that for a moment. And then back to center. This is one of five. Let's come up. You can hold right here. You can hold the legs. You can straight the legs. Full core, that's a lot of work. I'm going to stay here and do the least amount of work uh, for me. And we're going to breathe, just focusing on the breath and the meditation quality of the practice. Good. Heels down. Let's twist. Left arm outside. Hold it for a moment. Over to the other side. Right arm outside. Hold it for a moment. Good. Back up, number two. Breathing here. Good. Heels back down, outside, uh, left outside the right. And over to the other side, right outside the left. Up again, number three. Good, heels down, twist again, left outside or right. Right outside or left. Back up, number four. Hopefully I didn't lose count. We're gonna stay here. And heels down again, outside again, left, outside, or right. Other side, right, outside, or left. Good, back up for the last one.
Good. Let's lay back. We're going to thread the needle tonight. So uh, feet flat, feet and knees two fists apart, lift the right leg up. Bring the right ankle down the uh, inside of the left uh, leg. Take the right hand and feed it through, grabbing the shin, and then the other hand comes around, and then lay the head back. Bring the toes towards your shins, rotate the uh, right knee forward, and let's breathe here. If you prefer pigeon, you're welcome to flip over and get right on the pigeon. You'll see that looks almost the same. It's just this one's a little less aggressive. Still breathing. All right, so let's switch it. Left leg up, just down the inside there. Left hand feeds through, grabbing the shin. Other hand comes around, we flex the feet, toes towards the shins, and we breathe here. Great, unwind it, both feet flat, feet and knees, two fists apart, longest finger almost touches the heel again. We're gonna do bridge, you have the uh, option to do supported bridge, which I'll show you. You have the option to do Urva Dhanurasana, which is the full uh, back bend. Let's start with bridge, lifting the hips, tuck the shoulders, intertwine the fingers, push the arms down. I like this one a lot. I also like supported if you ever wanna try it. It's a little intense on the hands, sticking the thumbs under the lower back, and then really sitting into that. You just let the weight drop down. You don't have to hold yourself up. We're gonna breathe here. Good, back down, bring the knees up into your chest, grab the shins and really bring the nose up and pull down on the shins here. Excellent, so you have a, if you have a belt or a strap or a shirt or a towel, this is the good place to use it unless you can get your foot real easily. We're gonna start with a uh, left on left, so the left foot either strapping or holding the foot, and we're gonna lie all the way back with that foot straight up. You can put the right hand on the leg if you like, and we're gonna stay here. Keep a hold of the foot of the strap and then let that leg fall out to the left as you reach out and look to the right.
Let's come up. We're going to switch hands on the strap of the foot. We're going to bring it all the way over to the right. The hip is coming off the ground. Left arm reaches out and away, looking to the left hand, trying to keep the shoulders flat. Excellent. Back up, just hands coming up towards the heel, bring the nose towards the knee so your shoulders and head will come off the ground here. And we'll take a few breaths right like this. Great. Put that down. Let's do the other side. So strapping up the right foot, we lift it straight up. And we're going to hold here. that leg fall out to the right as you look to the left. Back up, we'll switch hands on the strap of the foot, all the way over to the other side, reaching out to the right, looking out to the right. Great, back up, just hands, the nose will come to the knee. Do your best to keep the left leg locked down. Good, put that down, bend the legs with the uh, feet a bit apart and then let the knees fall together. So we're gonna keep one knee in contact with one leg at all times. So we're gonna, we'll be laying down with the arms out and we're gonna let the knees fall to the right, but that, that it runs all the way down to the shin, the knee on the left leg. And then back up, keep the knee touching the leg over to the other side. And then on your timeline, going back and forth here. The feet stay in the same position mostly, although the uh, outside edge of the foot comes up. So just, a bit more of this, just moving. Good, back to center. Those of you that would prefer to do a uh, plow and shoulder stand are welcome to. The rest of us are going to find a wall or a surface we can throw our legs up so that they're above the heart or the feet are at least above the heart. I'm going to go back to the wall and do it. Wall's great, couch is fine, shelves, whatever you like. And then we're going to, so you got to sneak your tail up against that wall. 
And then lay back and feet up the wall. Arms out like a T. We'll stay right here. You could also bring the legs out, getting the stretch of the inner thigh. Otherwise, right here is fine. And we're gonna take at least 10 long breaths here. Let your shoulders really drop onto the ground. So you can stay on the wall if you're super comfortable. Um, and then otherwise, we're going to come down and we're going to lay flat on the mat. Once laying on the mat to turn it into a meditation, we put the hands uh, on the uh, core. And on the in-breath, the fingers, long as fingers come apart. On the out-breath, they come back together. So just... Uh, Feeling the movement of that breath. And we're going to be here for a short five minutes, just becoming aware of the body breathing itself. I'm going to change the lighting, get as comfortable as you can, and just lay here with the hands on the belly and that middle finger touching and then not touching every time the body breathes itself.
All right, you can take your hands off your uh, core and reach up above the top of your head with the backs of the hands on the ground, lengthening from the fingers to the toes. Get as long as you can and pull the core down, pushing your lower back onto the floor and the mat. Bring your knees up into your chest. And roll yourself up to a comfortable seated position with the legs crossed. Once there, let's bring the hands to the heart center and rub them together. If you want to unmute yourself for the final uh, releasing of everything, you're welcome to. Hello. Okay, let's reach the arms up like a big funnel. We're going to take a breath in. We're going to breathe in more. We're going to breathe in more. We're going to hold belly and legs tight. And don't be shy. Let it all out. Oh. You're living your dream, don't miss it, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, Friday night. It is uh, danieloverberger.com. That is where you can find the links to my PayPal and Venmo, so you can send me a uh, donation for this class. It's every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Fridays are the easy class. Mondays and Wednesdays is a bit more work at seven o'clock right here on Zoom. And, um, that's it. I'm going to shut this off and then uh, I think I'm going to go chill out somewhere. <laughs> Fantastic. Have a great weekend yourself. Let me stop the